begin with a little exploration. So let's begin with that breathing, body awareness, close your eyes. We'll just do something for about 10 minutes here. Close your eyes. And if you weren't familiar practicing that last session, it's okay, we'll, do, we'll still be fine. Put your awareness in your belly. And as you breathe, kind of let your awareness move down through your hips and your legs. We're not going to do a deep dive in awareness. We'll do it a little differently with this. Relax your legs, relax your feet. Every exhale, let go a little bit more. We come back up to your your chest and your shoulders and with exhale, let those drop. Maybe tension you didn't know you had. Each exhale, relax your upper arms, your lower arms. your awareness, rest your awareness in the space of your neck and your jaw. Your exhale, let that be relaxed. Let go of tension you didn't even know you were holding. And just hold space and all your awareness, your whole body. your whole body relax with your exhales. And now I want you to notice whatever impulses arise. And I want you to look at what precedes the impulse. You might notice a comment from the judge or a need to shift a foot, scratch your nose. I want you to see where that energy, we'll call it an energy of an impulse. From the time you first notice it, I want you to track back, haunt its origin. What preceded it and what preceded that? And whatever impulse arise, track it back. What preceded it?
often if it's a mind chatter thought, there'll be a emotion or a feeling. And before that, it might be a physical sensation in the body before the thought. And just notice. Hold space and notice. Those energies are there. They have an origin. And be aware that they come in kind of the layers of energy. The thought may be preceded by emotion, which may be preceded by something physical, which may be preceded by something I say. You're hunting. Hunting back to the origin of a thought or feeling. and hold your attention there until you feel like it and then follow the next one or hold space until you find the next one and follow it back to its origin. And in between, you can breathe and relax your body. And when an impulse or a reaction or a thought shows up, you're like, ah. Put your attention right down the channel it came from, looking at the source. Hold space, relax your body.
very often the thing that you notice is only the manifestation. It was an energy that preceded it, maybe an energy before that. And no need to expect that you'll find anything profound. If you see something, notice something, great. And if you don't, also fine. But just to use your attention this way, to look deeper. Really foundational skill to learn. Okay, let me know in the chat what you observe. Give me some feedback so I can help guide here. Difficult to hold your attention. You find your mind expecting to find something big, disappointed it didn't. Yes, I'd consider a thought an impulse. Core unease. Mostly sleepy. Yeah, I, I can put people to sleep. I can be kind of boring that way. Maybe that's it. I can follow it through my boring voice. Helps people sleep. Mm, I said right down the channel it came from. Maybe not right, just notice. Okay, Zoom user found silence and peace. Well, there's a good find. That world's there too. Discover real fear related to, oh, I was jumping around. Real, discovered a real fear related to attachments. Okay, that's deeper. Couldn't find the origin of the most impulse mostly. Listening into the silence, the impulse of trying to figure out how to keep that going. Ah, okay, so you have the silence. 
and then a disruptive thing like trying to grasp the silence. The narrator chimes in, Morgan Freeman, talks about all kinds of things. Imagine's conversation you said or they might have. Perfectionist, comparing myself to others. Core feeling of not good enough. Dealt it in the abdomen. Good. Words, I can't do it, appeared. Pra tracked it back to when I was a baby and had two casts on my legs and couldn't kick my legs. Okay, so that's following an impulse back to two years old. Resistance to relaxing neck tension. Relaxing feels too unguarded as though defending the body. That's good hunting. You're noticing that, okay, behind the tension in the necks, next, excuse me, in the neck, a resistance to relax and it feeling unsafe to relax. There's fear behind that tension. Good hunting. Found myself searching before I can remember when I started remembering four years old. Good dreams of younger experiences trace perfectionists back to a time as a child where I was scared of many mistakes. Found a fear that relaxing is just a form of being self-congratulatory and lazy. Okay, well, this, this was a very fruitful 10 minutes. You're finding the core beliefs already, feelings held in the body from early childhood being in a cast, perfectionist, looking for things. You're seeing what, a, what I learned, what I call dreams. All these beliefs are dreams, dreams having a feeling, a whole world to them. A memory is a dream. If we go back and we replay a memory, we're in a way replaying a dream because we can feel as if we're there. We can feel ourselves back when we were there in that, source feeling of being two or four years old. And you can also find that depending on which direction you go, which avenue or channel of energy you follow, you can also find peace and silence. That energy is inside you also. Follow your energy into your heart. Get past some resistance layers. There's love and peace in your heart too. We have a whole host of energies inside of us. Dreams, waiting, many dormant, often popping up wanting us to dream them and live in that little bit of inner world of a memory, of a feeling, of a projection. And that collection of them often causes us fear and anger and insecurity and 
annoyance and perfectionism and judgment and shame. Often those are louder than the ones that are also there of gratitude and love and joy and playfulness. Those energies are there too. And it's the hunter, the stalker in us, the hunter in us that chooses the energy to be in. That can see the layers behind the layers because if you think of a hunter, the skills of a hunter, very observant and perceptive. Okay. To see things, to see the layers behind the layers behind the layers. Hunters are observant. And to have an awareness to see the energies and these different things going on inside of us. And then to choose what to do with them is a hunting skill as well. Okay. So let's elevate our hunting game. This is good hunting already. Well done. So the image and energy that I learned as the hunter was the jaguar because the tradition of comes from Mexico and the jaguar, the big game cat in the jungle in Latin America is the jaguar. And the jaguar is the It's the master hunter. And think about what are the qualities of this cat that was they used as the example and embodiment of that greatness of a hunter. Start to see some of it in here. You could, a house cat, if it's in hunting mode, Let's not use that example because I'm looking for something a bit more fierce. Yeah. If you think about a, how a big game cat, a tiger, a lion, a jaguar, how does it behave? What are its qualities when it's in hunting mode? Extremely focused. Yes, put it in the chat. that whoosh, laser vision. It decides on its prey, what it's going after and holds its attention. Extremely alert, it misses nothing. Awareness. It's silent. Ah, stealth capability. Intense, fierce, yeah. Because when it's focused on nothing is gonna shake its attention. You know, if it has decided, okay, I want this, this gazelle over here, do you think it cares if a rabbit is off by the side or there's another noise? No, it's focused on the, its game, its prey, and that's all I want. And even if another one runs in front in the middle of the attack, it's like, no, I'm going after this one. Silent, intense, deliberate, intentional, ruthless, determined, in the moment. Yes, very present in the now. Patient. It's gonna sit and watch the movements of its prey what it's after and wait and wait and wait. So let's talk about some other things. Ah, faith in its power, good. It's confident in its strength. 
it's going after this thing. Even if it's an alligator, I'm going after this thing, I'm going to get it. Faith. I'm going after this thing and it's going to get it. Do you think that the Jaguar, when it's like thinking like, well, am I going to get it? Am I not going to get it? Do you think it's got thoughts of insecurities and doubt? No. Your house cat doesn't even have those. All right. Has faith. I'm going to get it. And if it misses its chance and gets what it doesn't care, it's like, no, nah, so what? Next time. Goes 100% for it. Even if it's a big wildebeest and it's bigger than it, it's like, I don't care. I'm going after it. I'm going to take it down. Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Carlton says, and then it kind of, when it sees its prey and it's time to act, it's get coiled like a spring, it tenses up, and then it's now, and it's 100% after it in action. Fully committed, full faith, I'm getting this. No doubt, no distraction. It's important that you can tap into these qualities. Fierce, intense, yet patient, focus, absolutely intent. No doubt I'm doing this. You feel me? If we're going to go take on our fears, if we're going to go take on the judge and say, I don't want to live by your perfectionist standard, and I, don't, and I want to take all the faith I have out of you and fear of my own judgment, do you think we can go after it as like, well, I kind of sort of judged you mind. Could you just step aside, please? Um, would it be okay if you just calm down? I, 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 I would really like it better if you would just kind of be softer. My judge would say, Gary, you're being pathetic. You're a wuss. Grow up. That's how that would go. Then if we're going to take on these formidable energies, it's hard. Then we need to have that kind of energy in ourselves. I'm doing this. I'm doing this with a determination and a faith and a patience. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get what I want. I know what I want. I see it. I got it. And I'm going to get it. Nothing's going to get in my way. And that's the energy of the hunter high-level hunter, uh, willing to expend the energy, yes. Ah, okay. Do you get the dream of the energy of this big game cat now? Give me a nod if that's a yes. Okay. Can only see some of you. Okay. So now, this dreaming, I want you to dream that you are a big game cat.
I want you to feel it in your body. I want you to feel the way a big game cat feels when it's out on the savanna or in the jungle, okay? And it owns the territory and it has no fear because it's the biggest predator in the land and nothing hunts it. There's nothing to be afraid of because there's nothing that hunts you. Anything out there that moves, you can get it and it doesn't get you. So let's dream this, close your eyes and take the form of a big game cat. Dream it in your mind. And put yourself in the environment And take your time to walk around in your kingdom and play and enjoy it. Because it's your kingdom. You, in that energy, rule this land and feel the power and just how to move freely and relaxed. Let that power move through your hands, arms, legs, as if they're the animals and be the animal. and go for a walk and tour around. And feel everything it is in that dream and that feeling to be that big game cat. And then you feel it's time or you get hungry, go on a hunt.
I want you to begin to pause your hunt and just be still in that cat energy. Stay in the energy of it. And I want you to make an agreement yourself that you have this available to you, this intensity, the fierceness, the focus at any time. And take this cat form and decide where you want to put it in your inner world. Maybe it's behind you. Maybe it's in front of you. To your left, to your right. There's this whole energy field you've created in this form of energy. It's now part of your inner world. I want you to consciously, intently place it there where you want it in your inner world so you can access it at any time. Say, okay, whenever I need my stalker hunter energy, where will it be? You put it there. Could be inside your body. Could be outside. You might want it around you throughout the day as a feeling of safety. Consciously, intentionally place this energy in the field of your inner world. So you have access to it at any time in any way. 